How you guys doing? Once again, I'm Chris Ignato, and thanks for stopping by my channel. Now, it's December, so that means t-shirt weather. I tell you, it happens every year now. Anyways, uh, my students of all ages frequently ask me, what's the difference between a moth or a butterfly? How do I know? And there are differences you can spot. There are characteristics you can spot right away just by looking at them. So let's get started. Now have a look. You can spot really easily the, the wings right off the bat. Butterflies often fold their wings vertically above their backs. Whereas moths hold them straight out horizontally. Now please keep in mind that butterflies and moths don't always do this, but it is a good general rule. Especially when at rest. Butterflies are often larger like this species here um, but then again there's exceptions to that rule another thing you can see is moths have a, a frenulum which is a wing device that pretty much locks the wings together so that both wings move at the same time butterflies don't have that frenulum device Moths frequently have robust legs, you know, kind of large. They look somewhat muscular and they're usually just covered in a lot of fur, giving them that large appearance. Whereas butterflies usually have dainty legs, you know, long, thin legs. Kind of look like they skipped leg day at the gym. Now, the antenna are really easy to spot. On moths, they're usually kind of feathered or saw-like, and you can tell by looking here. Um, in fact, the males, they're usually really feathered, and on the females, it's less so. The males are looking for those females. They pick up the pheromones with them, and then they home in on their mates. Butterflies, they're somewhat club-shaped. You see those long threads, and then there's often that kind of swelling at the end, at the tip, almost like a q-tip except they're dark that's the difference you can spot almost immediately now another characteristic that's usually pretty easy to spot is their tongue butterflies have tongues because they're always looking for nectar right moths however generally don't feed at all and usually don't even have any mouth parts once they're the adult, you know, with the wings and all. So if you look at the face of a moth, you're not going to see that coiled up tongue. That's only present in butterflies. So there you go. See, if you look closely, you can see that coiled up tongue. Almost like the coil spring in a watch or a clock. Now please keep in mind that there are always exceptions when it comes to science and nature. Some moths will feed on nectar like this hummingbird moth, and it's got a long tongue similar to butterflies because, again, it feeds on nectar just like they do. Now, unfortunately for moths, they don't win quite a lot of fans because, well, partially their appearance and because they're nocturnal. They're usually out at night when people are sleeping. They often have that fuzzy, maybe furry, or even somewhat dusty appearance, something you might expect to find in an attic or something. Butterflies have all those brilliant, magnificent colors, like you see here. A big difference, and I don't know how much footage I have of it, is the fact that butterflies form chrysalids, okay? They form a chrysalis. And that's what they metamorphosize in. It's usually hanging off of twigs and branches and stems. Moths make cocoons. Those cocoons can often be on branches and twigs, but they're also often on the ground or even under the ground. Sometimes cocoons look all woolly or cobwebby. Sometimes they're just a hard black shell, kind of in the shape of kind of like a grub. Oh yeah, and one more characteristic I just have to mention. Some moths sport some very unusual shapes. 
Butterflies have the standard butterfly shape. You know, it varies a little bit. Some moths can look really unique. So there you have it. What do you think? Do you think you could tell the difference now next time you see one? If you could tell if it's a moth or a butterfly? Let me know below. Anyways, <laughs> thanks a lot for watching guys. Once again, I'm Chris Ignato, signing out. Hey guys, now really quick, if you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button, but don't forget to click that little bell icon or else YouTube will never inform you that I have a new video out. It's a YouTube thing. And trust me, I need all the help I can get, so please click that bell icon for future notifications. And thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'm Chris Ignato, signing out.